Hi, I'm June Hunt from Hope for the Heart, and I'm so thankful to God for the way God is using you in the lives of so many others who need help and hope. Let me pose a question. What are biblical counseling keys? Now, at our ministry, Hope for the Heart, I've written 100 counseling keys which make up our biblical counseling library. But what exactly are counseling keys? Most commonly, keys are used for unlocking doors. Figuratively, keys can be used to unlock the door to our future, doors that have been shut for much too long. Keys are symbolic door openers to a world of images. In fact, Webster's Dictionary alone presents over 50 meanings of this versatile little word. But for our purposes, the following definitions are prominent among dictionary listings. First, keys are a means of gaining entry. Counseling keys are people helper resources based on the fundamental principles of the Bible. Now, you and I have some power, but the Word of God has supernatural power. Biblical truth miraculously builds the desire within a person's seeking heart to enter into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Hebrews 4.12, I love this scripture. It says, the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Next, keys explain or identify. Our counseling keys purposely begin by identifying the problem by using biblical definitions, word studies, explanations, and illustrations. The intent is to develop God's perspective on any situation you may encounter. In fact, the Bible says, first seek the counsel of the Lord. And last, keys supply instructions and references. Our counseling keys teach us how to grasp God's will and God's way through verses and references that can transform our lives. When you think about keys, they provide solutions. Counseling keys conclude with diverse steps to solutions that are relevant and practical for everyday living, kind of shoe leather living. They encourage us to rely on these two-fold promises within Scripture. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. That's Psalm 19.8. All of our counseling keys contain four main components, definitions, characteristics, causes, and solutions. All of our counseling keys help achieve the four goals from 2 Timothy 3, teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training. In fact, 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says, all scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God, and that's you, may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I mentioned definitions, characteristics, causes, and solutions. So, definitions initiate our understanding of the problem from God's perspective. They identify word origins and meanings. Uh, they explain and clarify concepts. They often use biblical illustrations or real-life situations. They present common questions and answers, and they always include applicable scripture printed out for quick reference. 
Proverbs 10.23 says, a person of understanding delights in wisdom. So there's definitions, characteristics. Characteristics are spotlights of truth, convicting and exposing the need for change. They describe both the physical and emotional symptoms. They list the obvious and not so obvious characteristics. They reveal appropriate and inappropriate behavior. They may include a checklist or a self-test list. They serve as a tool to identify a problem. Proverbs 14.8 says, the wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. So of the four sections, there's definitions, characteristics, causes. Causes bring to light legitimate inner needs that we all have and that we're all trying to meet, but perhaps in illegitimate ways. They reveal the underlying reason for the symptoms. They distinguish between surface and root causes. They identify the three God-given needs we seek to meet inappropriately. They expose the wrong belief, which then is exchanged with the right belief. And then that allows us to become all that God created us to be. Proverbs 14, 12 says, there's a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. I mentioned these four sections, definitions, characteristics, causes, and solutions. This last section, steps to solution, give action plans for breaking bondages and for building Christ-like character. They begin with a key verse to memorize and then a key passage to read from the Bible. That passage applies to the very issue, the very problem we're talking about. They identify biblical principles to act on that bring about true change. They outline practical action to healing and ultimate victory. And at the end, what we have are 10 scripture memory cards for renewing our minds. There's tremendous hope that the Bible tells us that we have. It's found in Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, all of the 100 counseling keys unlock the door of understanding that helps people come into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. And thousands of lives experience lasting solution.